In this video, we're going to show you how to turn your iPhone or your iPad into a head tracker and what you need to do in order to enable head tracking in your favorite games that support this input type. In order to get you started, we need to install OpenTrack and Iwer Beam. OpenTrack is the application that takes your head movement information and relays it to games and to flight simulation software. In order to do this, OpenTrack needs an input from a head tracking device. Your head tracking device will be your iPhone or your iPad. But in order to use your iPhone or your iPad as a head tracking device, you will need to install iWear Beam from the App Store. Please watch this video here or follow the step-by-step -step instructions in the quick start guide to install the iWear Beam app. Once you've installed the app, please head on over to the burger menu, settings, and make sure that the OpenTrack stream toggle is turned on. Now we go to installing OpenTrack. So you need to go over to github.com slash OpenTrack slash OpenTrack slash releases. This is where they keep their repository and their latest installers. Scroll down and you will see here the executable, download it, install it. This octopus here will convey the movement of your, of your head. Uh, so let's get this going. Please choose UDP over network in the input section. In the settings area, port 4242 is perfect. Just leave it as that at its default value. In the output section, choose free track, which is the protocol that TrackIR is using to make head tracking work in games. Make sure that both are enabled here. For the filter section, you can leave it as is. We're not going to discuss this about here. These are some more complex settings. So the only thing left that you need to do is head on over to options, game detection, and choose the executable of the game you want to play. Click these three dots and search for, for the executable of the game you're playing with head tracking. You want to play with head tracking, click OK. And now you can just hit start. You can see that the head tracking is active, it's working. These panels here are being populated with live data parameters indicating the position of your head. If you observe that the movements of the octopus are not the same as the movements of your head, you may need to invert the values. This is what I've done. And it works now just perfect for me. So now that OpenTrack is up and running, let's go to Flight Sim and see what settings we need to make there. So here we are in Microsoft Flight Sim. Head on over to Options, Controls Options. You will see here Track IR. If it's available, it means that your game is updated and that you are ready to fly with head tracking on. Enjoy your flight.